Hello everybody, this is Gotta Transform Them All. This is gonna be a bit of an assorted opening. I've got three of these two-pack pin blisters, probably picked up from the Walgreens or something. All of them feature a pin of either Mega Blaziken or Mega Alakazam, and then one pack each of Roaring Skies and Steam Siege. These were a uh, part of my birthday gifts, and I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to even open them, because both of these sets are sets that have been out for some time now, and there isn't much I'm missing for any of this. <laughs> like, I think Steam Siege, it's a total of... Yeah, it's a, it's a total of six cards for Steam Siege. That's counting four reverse hollows and two full arts. So, like, the chance of getting anything new is basically not happening. But I figured they were a birthday gift. I should open them for that alone. So we're going to open them. Uh, but also, I'm just going to throw this in. It's a Sword and Shield mini binder. So we get a mini binder featuring Zamazenta and Sassian. And then there's a pack of Sword and Shield. We'll open that last. We'll start with these three blisters. I mean, you never, I mean there's still chances for getting something good, but I'm looking for new stuff, and there's really not any chance of getting anything new. There we go. <laughs> I mean, you never know, but really, it's not not likely at all. Oh, okay, that has a, another piece of plastic. There we go. All right, there's one. I'll just open up all three, and we'll open up the six packs at once. There we go. Sometimes with these things, the hard part is just getting the like back off or finding a weak enough point in the cardboard to poke a hole in. Two. Another Mega Alakazam one. Four, three. There we go. Let's draw off the pins real quick. We have the Mega Blaziken pin. Looking very nice. I always thought this one looked weird because they had to do what they did with the <laughs> spoons to make it work. I guess it's some sort of like light effect, if you want to call it that, but I don't know. I thought <laughs> it, lo it looks odd because normally for Mega Blaziken, they just float but there it just looks like they're stuck in something. Oh, and there's the Mega Blaziken pin. There is two of them. And we have the six packs. Three each of Steam Siege and three of Roaring Skies. So there we go. We will go oldest to newest, so I'll open up the three Roaring Skies first. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a chance of getting something good. But it's the, it's the fact that there isn't much that I need that doesn't have me excited, I guess. Alright, with the first pack here, it has a Tail of Wormhole Fletchling, Natu Ancient Trait, Execute, Switch, Pelipper, and Ultra Ball Reverse. Zatu, that is a rare in the set, so that's nice. Two rares in this pack. The actual rare is a Dust Ox, an Ancient Trait non-hollow. Still, two rares is pretty good. The next pack has Mega Latios. And Roaring Skies is not a set that had the uh, code trick, or the code card trick, 
where it's like you have the green or the white version. I, this set just had the one white version. I think it was like Breakthrough or Breakpoint they started doing that. Uh, we have Dratini, Execute, Togepi, Fletchling, Shuffet, Switch, Pelipper, and Ultra Ball. Those uncommons looked very familiar. Reverse, Natu. So we went from Zatu to Natu. That one's a common, a little rare. Took a kiss. Non hollow once again. Final Roaring Skies pack. Mega Gallade on there. Give you guys another code there. Three and two. And we're going to start this one with a Spiro, Meowth, Gligar. Binnacle, Bagon, Togetic, Pelipper, and Revive. For, I almost, um, in my mind, I saw Pelipper again. It's like, do we get the same uncommons? And they're like, no, there's a Togetic and a Revive there. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we had Pelipper in all three. Reverse, Bagon, Common Reverse, the Rare. Ooh. <laughs> Mega Rayquaza. Rayquaza? I don't know. Mega Rayquaza. EX. Full Art? That looks really, really good. Is this one I needed? I need the Rayquaza. Oh, I need the Rayquaza, but not the Mega. Oh, so close. That is still a fantastic pull, though. Looks really, really good. All right, well, like I said, there was a chance of getting something good. Just a low chance of it being something I needed. And as of right now, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Uh, but there's a code for Steam Siege. Three and two. And this pack. We're going to start with a Rufflet, Chimchar, Dino, Tangela, Crawdunk, Fletchender, Drifloon, and Greedy Dice. Reverse. Mankey. Common Reverse. I'm only missing like four rares, I think they are. Hoopa, Eveltal, Klefki, and Xerneas. So yeah, I think they're all rares in this set. The, the rare. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you think I didn't want to open these? <laughs> Mega Gardevoir EX. Full art. Shiny Pokemon. Because they did a thing for this one set randomly where they, they had dual types and they were shiny. This, yeah, this isn't one of the two I need. I need Steelix and Magearna as full arts, but... Wow. <laughs> How about that? Two very popular cars from their sets, I'm sure. Speaking of, look who's on the next pack. Three and two. And we're going to start the next pack with a Mantine, Sneasel, Hoppip, Fletchling, Clauncher, Persian, Rapidash, and Ninja Boy. Reverse. I'm, like, like, my mind is just getting shocked right now. Like, I just said the four I was missing. This was the last one on the list. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the actual rare. Is it Amoongus? All right. 
If that was going to be something else, I don't know what I was going to do. I... You have good openings, you have bad openings, and you just have some that just... Like, they're completely not what you expect. Like, like I, I wasn't expecting a full art. Nor was I expecting two. Nor was I expecting to also get one of the six cards I'm missing for the set. Like, they're just... Like, those are not betting odds. I almost did... Th uh, four and two, like it's a Sun and Moon set. <laughs> we have a Dino, Hoppip, Litwick, Meowth, Ponyta, Armor Fossil Shield on, Graviary, and Clang. Reverse. <laughs> I. I are you kidding me? We just went two for two in the last two on two of the four reverses I needed. <sighs> like I literally just like I literally just took a third of my remaining set list off with just these two pet with two of these packs. What are the odds? Like, if anyone that likes to do calculations, calculate the odds of getting two rare reverses that I'm missing. Uh, when I'm on, when I'm, there's only four in total I could have gotten that I needed. I, 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 I can't imagine those are big odds. Again, like not, they are not betting odds. The actual rare, though, is a hollow. All right. So it's not, it's a hollow, which is nice, but, like, I I don't need it. It's, it's a duplicate. It doesn't compare to anything else that's been here. <laughs> uh, we, still got, we still got the mini binder, too. Let's get this open. So we got the one pack of Sword and Shield and Lapras and the mini binder featuring Zacian and Zamazenta. You can use it to put 30 to 60 cards, depending how you want to put the cards in. And we have our one pack. I'll give you guys that Sword and Shield code because this has been crazy. So we have a Ponyard, Sizzlepeed. Yamper, Clobopus, still looking for Grappalocked, Cottony, Raboot, Sudowoodo, and Hop. Reverse, Whimsicott, which is an awesome rare reverse. This is one of my favorite non hollow rares just because of that artwork. Like, that is the, like, childlike happiness Whimsicott I've ever seen. <laughs> No play is not one I need though, I have pulled it before, but still, it's a, yeah, it's a rare reverse, so two in this pack, the actual rare. War Beetle? Alright, so nothing really out of the Sword and Shield pack, but that's fine. Again, guys, I didn't want to open these. Like, I, di I didn't. It was just more because it was a birthday gift. It didn't feel right to just say, I'm not going to open these. Uh, but Mega Rayquaza EX. Full Art. Mega Gardevoir EX. Full Art. Two of the four reverses. I was still missing for this set. I really don't know how it could have gone better other than like what like the full arts being one of the ones I needed. Like this this was not this was just not what I was expecting.
it might not also help that it's like past midnight when I'm recording this, so like I'm tired. <laughs> but just I this was not the this opening did not go as expected. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> it it went much better, but it was not expected. Uh, but that is it for this opening. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this opening. Stay tuned for more, of course. Have a great day.